Welcome back, you guys. This is Riley here with Learn With Me. Thanks again for tuning in to another fabulous episode. And here I'm going to kind of show you the, some of the progress of uh, how my plants have been turning out this winter. Let's get to it. But yeah, what you're going to see here that I'm so brutally showing, trying to show you is uh, this is a bell pepper plant that I simply put a cover on with a plastic bag and put a couple holes in the bag just to kind of make sure that the bell pepper could breathe. Um, I have two of these and I have a number of bell pepper plants that I'm trying to overwinter and some I'm doing in the ground and some I'm not doing in the ground. I'm kind of putting in hoop paths. They're putting under protective covering, but I wanted to at least see if I could keep these growing while leaving them in the ground and going dormant. So I cut off some leaves and Again, sorry for the terrible camera angles. I'm trying to get some better uh, visuals there. I'll try to do some better ones in the future videos. But as you can see, the highlight of these plants is that they're still green. If there's no leaves, but they're still green, that lets you know that the plants are alive. But as you can see, the green parts indicate that the plant is still alive and in, if, in case you didn't know in certain parts of the world pepper plants are actually perennials so you can produce not only can they cross pollinate with different pepper plants but they come back each year if the te uh, temperature doesn't drop too far so if you can keep them from the temperature from dropping too far you could actually uh, keep your pepper plants for forever if anything Here's another one right here that I'm showing you. I this, this one I'm not taking as good of care of, but I feel like everybody has at least one plant that when it goes to winter, they're just like, well, you're, you're hanging around. So let's see if you can hang around some more. And that's how I feel about this tomato plant and this pepper plant. I have another, like the tomato plant, I'm just trying to see if I can honestly get a tomato by Christmas, like still in this type, kind of weather and in this economy. <laughs> See, like, dude, look at those big tomatoes. I have like six or seven of those at least growing. But as you can see, the bell pepper's holding up well. I have it draped. I have the bags there, bags of leaves there to help keep it warm and brace it from the wind. And I have the plastic there just to kind of keep it covered. And it manages to get enough sunlight during the day, and it st is still alive. So I'll let you guys know during, for the Christmas update if it's still, uh, still around and kicking. As you can see, I have barrels filled with water as well. And like you can see, there's like this trash uh, garden scene that, as you can see, is just filled with a bunch of bags of leaves. And these are really help, helping insulate my plants. Here's another example where I have uh, plastic coverings over the sage plant. The sage plant has seen better days, but I have a strawberry plant in there, I have some lettuces growing. Um, and I have a, a hibiscus plant growing, a rose hibiscus, like I think it's a cranberry ma rose mallow hibiscus. Yeah, that's what it is. And uh, they're, they're tending to do pretty well. As you can see, it's 43 degrees outside, and most of the plants that I'm showing you are still like alive and kicking. Some might not be alive next week, some might not, but it's definitely gotten below 30 degrees recently, multiple times. And for these plants to still be kicking around with all the water that I'm using to kind of help stabilize the temperature, that's crazy, uh, to simply put it. But yeah, you guys, like, subscribe, uh, leave any comments if you have any recommendations or any features that you would like me to highlight on or if you have any ideas for new videos. But you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will talk to you soon. Stay awesome.